right, this is Renskot the Merg Liquid. I'm going to tell you how Liquid and WVD work together. Go to Manage, System, Access Policy, hit Create. Type this role, hit Next, Overview, the name is WKS Import. Hit Next. Scroll down to where Scope says Device and Privilege say Register Device. Check it. Press Next. Press Finish. Go back to Manage Authentication Identity Sources, select Local Users, hit Create, select Local Username, WKS Import. In the password, fill in a password that met the criteria, hit Next. Access Policy, select the policy just created, confirm, Next, Finish. Go back to Manage, under Identities, select Context, Create, Type is Filter, hit Next. Under Name, WVD Deployment Context, hit Next, Finish. In Liquid, a context can be used to set rights or as a filter. Go back to Manage, under Automation, hit Deployment. Press Create, in a name, WVD Deployment, hit Next, hit Finish. At the Assignments, assign the context we just created in the production stage. Under Packages, select any application you want to deploy into your session host. We go for Chrome for Business, and we go for the Smart FTP 46-bit. Now we're going to customize the downloaded zip file that you already extracted. Go to the right hand side and says download agent. Download the MSI version of the agent you have on your liquid zone. Save it to the install agent directory and then modify the agent XML. Make sure your server is the same as your zone. Make sure you add the registration part and make sure that the username and password are the same as your system. Check your deployment. Make sure that name is the same as you just created. And make sure that enabled and start are set the way they are shown here. To true and as false. Save and close it up. Now the liquid site is ready. We need to head over into the Microsoft Azure portal. Right, here in the Azure portal, we are logged in as an admin. We search for the resource groups. In the resource group, you hit create. Make sure you select the right subscription. Select as resource group name, we select LIC WVD ARM. For region, we here in the Netherlands choose West Europe. If you are in a different region, choose your own region. Make sure WVD is supported there. Go into Tags, for Name, we select Project, and for Value, we type in Liquid Min WVD Dev. Hit Next, hit Create, and wait for the resource group to show up. In Azure, this sometimes takes a little while. Right, resources there, I select it, and I try to open it in a new tab. The reason I do this, if I refresh the page, it always brings me up to the resource page. So it is up to you if you want to do this step or not. All right, I'm going to click Add in the resource, and I'm searching for the VMNet. I say Create. I type in the right name and choose my region. Make sure this is the same region as you had before. I leave this all as default, leave security as default, add the text, my project and my liquid in dev. And in the summary I see all and I hit create. Now we wait for the deployment to finish. 
it's finished go to the resource go to the pairings on the left hand side press the add button add pairing and link name fill in the vm network we're going from underscore to underscore and then the vm network we're connecting to in the remote virtual network do this the other way around so the network we're going to underscore to underscore and then the network we're having the current connection from select the virtual network and create select create now it's creating two pairing networks one in this vm network and the other one in the other vm network and then it lets the two networks connect and let this vm network connect to your active directory services we wait for this to finish and there it is select dns services select custom and enter the ip addresses of your domain controllers Press save, and now your VM network is good to go. Go back to the resource tab and press the add button. Search for Windows 10 and select from the marketplace the Windows 10 image. Select the newest version in the multi-session variant and hit create. Give in a virtual machine name and select your region again. Enter uh, admin username and password. Make sure RDP is selected and you have a license check. The disk is Good by default. Make sure in the virtual network that the network we just created is there. Management we can leave as is. Advanced we don't need to add anything here. And on tags we add our product and liquid WVD dev tags. There's one thing missing. You cannot use underscores. All right, hit create. And now wait for the deployment to finish. Right, the deployment is almost ready now. There it is. Go back to the resource. Double click the virtual machine. Connect RDP. Download the RDP file and open it. It will prompt you for a certificate warning. Give in the credentials we earlier set for this machine. And now RDP session open up. And we'll launch the session into this machine. Right, we have a session now. Open up a file explorer. Go to the C drive. Make it not full screen. Go into the installation directory where we already put the agent in. Make there an archive of a zip archive. Copy over the zip from your local machine to the RDS environment and put it on the C drive. Extract the, uh, the zip file here. Press extract. It will open up the folder so we can close the C drive now. Right click on the setup all, run the PowerShell. It will prompt for execution policy, press yes. It will create all things necessary to run 
the W3D deployment now. Right, the liquid setup is done now. Press enter to close it. Go to the windows there, system32. Go to the sysprep directory and press the sysprep. Leave the UBI in place, check, generalize, showdown option, showdown. And let the sysprep run. All right, let the sysprep run. It will automatically disconnect your RDP session with an error, that's no problem. Go to the VM and check the status, it's now running. Refresh it a couple times until it's reached the stopped state. Then press stop again, it will lose the public IP, that's no problem. And it's going to deallocate your VM. Wait until the deallocation is completed. You can check that with the notifications and check there what the current status is of your action. Now it's stopping and that's running. Successfully completed. Now we can start the capture. So press capture. Under shared image and shared image gallery, we say no, capture image only and we'll change the name of the image that we're going to create. Press next. In the tag section, we add project and the win WVD dev and create the image. Right, wait for the image to create. It's done. All right, we'll go over to the resource now. Check if everything's there. VM is there, IP is there, VMnet is there. Go over to WVD. Click on the host pool, say create. Select the resource group that we have created. Set a pool name. For location, choose the location where also the VM image is at and set the host pool type to pooled and the session limit to five. Press next, click yes on add virtual machines. We fill in a prefix name. For images, we need to select the button below. Go to my items and select the captured image we just created. Number of hosts you want to deploy. Select the VMnet we have created. In our case, we need to specify the domain and set up an account for domain joining. Enter some credentials for the local administrator account and click Next. We don't add a workspace at this moment, so we press Next. We fill in the tags, review everything, and press create. This will create the host pool and also deploy the VM. Deployment is almost done now. There you go, it's done. We go back to the WVD environment and check on our host pool. You will see that a session host has been created. The status is still unavailable. Press refresh to check the status of the VM. It's currently shut down. And now it's available. On the left hand side, we now press workspaces and press create. Select the resource group that we have created. Fill in a workspace name. For location, 
select West Europe for us. Press next. Say no to application group and fill in the tags that we use throughout the project. Press next and press create. Deployment has been started and is finished. Press the go to resource. Check if the location is correct. Go back to the virtual desktop environment and go to application groups. Press the create button. Select your resource group. We have worked throughout the session. Select the host pool. Select the remote apps and give the app group name an appropriate name. Press next. Add an application. Select the file path. Enter the file path for Google Chrome. Name Chrome and the icon file. Press save. Add another application. Choose file path again. Enter the path of Smart FTP. Name Smart FTP. Give the icon path and the index. Press save. Press next. Add a user or group. Type in the group or user you want to find. Press select. And press next. Register application, say yes. Select the application group. Fill in the tags we use throughout the project. Press next. Check the summary and press create. Deployment is now started and finished. Now we're going to launch our local W3D client and refresh it. And it's listing the new workspaces. Launch Chrome, fill in credentials. Right. Wait for the application to start. And there it is, a fully automated installation of the W3D session host with liquid deployment.